We've laid out a number of different types of connecting links. Connecting links are designed to attach one piece of equipment to another. However, we need to be very careful because not all connecting links are designed for heavy dynamic loading. And anytime we can, we want to minimize the number of connecting links we build into a system. Connecting links can become the weak link in a system if we're not putting tools together appropriately. Here we've eliminated the need for an additional connecting link by girth hitching the sling that happens to have a very large eye for that directly to the Porter app. As compared to here where we've attached the sling to the Porter app with a clevis shackle. That's right. Because the eye is smaller, it won't it isn't able to girth hitch directly on, so we've used the clevis. Now, uh, we've got a few different connecting links here. The clevis, they can be very strong. They come in a lot of different sizes, small, medium, and large. We want to be careful that if we put some rope into the clevis, that we don't want a running line to be on the pin, because that could cause it to unscrew itself. And that could be a disaster. It would be far preferable, obviously, to have then have the sling on the pin after the pin is screwed tight. Now, that could be wired shut, but then the wire could become a problem. We need to make sure that that's put in the right place, and then the running rope would be in the belly of the clevis shackle. But the same holds true for screw links. We've got different sizes, different shapes, different strengths of screw links, and they screw down to screw shut. If it's going to be permanently placed or for any length of time it should be screwed down tightly they must be screwed down all the way but if a rope was to run across it it could unscrew it that potential exists or even another piece of hardware or equipment we also need to be concerned about the screw gate carabiner okay a, a rope running across the screw gate could unscrew it just like that so we want to make sure it's screwed down tightly and we want to load the carabiner along the major axis, never the minor axis. This is a D-shaped carabiner, and clearly we can see that it's designed to be loaded along the spine. That's right. Here we have a more of an oval-shaped carabiner, and when this loads, it's going to share the load more evenly. So we could girth hitch a tool on there, for example, and it would be more friendly for the carabiner than this.